brain hockey. And the goal is to try to score as many points as you can as a team. And in this instance, it's red team versus blue team. And you basically have one of three positions. So I'm gonna go through and walk through the directions for each one. The first one is the forwards. And they always start on the blue line. Um, I also, you'll notice I have five pucks. I at least have five. Um, I just feel like the more pucks, the merrier. So it just gives more kids more opportunity and uh, just causes less issues um, in the game. So with that being said, the forwards, they can work from this blue line back here. And I will extend that blue line so it's all the way to the um, basketball court. So they have blue line all the way down to the other end. Now, they can, I love for them to pass, work on their passing, work on moving with the pucks, all those things that we've already worked on um, in prior classes. But their goal as forwards is to try to dribble down and try to knock over a pin. So, then they would go and try to find another um, puck, okay? Now, they cannot cross over the blue line here. So it's blue line to blue line. They have all that area. When coach blows the whistle and says, time, clean up, they're gonna take their sticks back where they were, where they started um, on the blue line here. And they would sit on this line until I rotate. So that is the forward position. Next, I have the goalies. And so the goalies position is they stay behind the blue line and their job is to defend the, the uh, pins. Now, I also tell them, and sometimes I will have six, seven, eight kids back here because again, my class sizes are large, but you may not have that number. Um, but, so they have to really work hard and work together. So their job is to defend the goals. They cannot reach over the blue line. They have to stay back here. But any puck that comes back here goes behind the black line all the way to the wall, they can get. If they accidentally knock down a pin, that counts as a point for the other team. Or if a pin knocks down, what they do is they pick it up, wave it in the air to our scorekeeper. Once they get a thumbs up from them, they set it back up on the black line. And I will have little pieces of tape that I put down prior to the lesson um, to mark so it's easy for them to set them back up. So that is the goalie position. The last position is our bench warmers or our spectators, whatever you want to call it. And they are just sitting against the wall. I only play about two minutes at the most, so they're not sitting very long. I also will choose one person that I see doing a good job during cleanup to be the scorekeeper. And I mentioned the scorekeeper earlier. So if I'm on the red team, I'm watching that um, side down there because that is our points. So I will be the scorekeeper. If they give me a wave, I give them a thumbs up and add a point. Okay, so that, um, that is the game of Scatterbrain. Oh, 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 oh,